Howdy y'all, random lady here, and I'm going to do a little bit different kind of video. Uh, I like to talk a lot about coping skills when you're feeling depressed or down, and one of them is playing games. So this one's a good old-fashioned card game, one that I've never seen in a computer animation or anything because it's one my cousin taught me, and nobody ever seems to know this game. I call it Lines uh, Solitaire, maybe a Texas Solitaire, and don't judge me about my equipment because look... That's what I got. That's you. That's it. Cell phone. So, you know, don't be judgy judgy about the, uh, you know, filming and everything. And just, just roll with it, okay? You have one, two, three, and then one face up. And you're going to do four of those. One, two, three, face up and so on. I now have my four rows of cards. So I'm going to start my game off with my first card, which happens to be a nine of spades. I'm going to set that nine of spades up there and now in order to start a line each time it has to start with a nine. And what I'm going to do is play all my spades on this line. So basically we're starting with all spades because that just happens to be what I picked up. So if I either get a spade or a nine, my next nine or my nine will start my next line. So we're just going to rush through here right quick. Oh, there's nine. So now I'm starting my next line. Basically how this game is played is you play this line off of this one, this line off of this one, and this line off of this one. You cannot skip. Like if I have a card for this line, but it's not in here, but I do have it in here, I can't skip. I can only play off of the line above it. So I have this queen of clubs here. I can't play it because I don't have it in the line above it. I don't have the queen of spades. Same goes with this jack of clubs. I can't play it because it's not in the line above it. And the ten. Can't play it. It's not in the line above it. I'll keep going. There's a spade. I can play it. Alright, I had just laid down the seven of spades and now I have a seven of clubs. I can play it. This is going to show you that your lines don't have to be in exact order. You just have to have the same cards in each line before you can play them. I can't play it because I don't have the 8 in this line, so I can't play this on this line. Here's my 9. Almost missed it. Now I'm starting a 9 of diamonds line. Okay, here's an example of what I was talking about. I have this Ace of Diamonds to play on here, but I can't play it. Even though I have the Ace of Spades up here, I can't play it. This line gets played off of this line, not this one. So I can't skip a line, therefore I can't play that Ace of, Spades, Ace of Diamonds. Two of Spades. don't have it in the line above it. I do have my ace of spades so I can play my ace of clubs because the line above it. Don't have the spades five so I can't play the clubs five. Here's my fourth line right there, my nine. So now I can start my hearts but right now the only thing I have that I can play in my nine of hearts is my nine because look how many I have on the line above it. Nothing. Nothing but a nine. It'll start picking up in a minute here. Okay, got the two of clubs, 
it's in the line above it so I can play it. And now because I have the ace of clubs I can play my ace of diamonds because it's in the line above it. And I just turn this top one over I start over just like you do in the other solitaire. Don't have the line above it. Okay, here. I'm playing this line off of this line, and there's the seven, so I can play this seven. All right, I do have the ace of diamonds here, so I can play my ace of hearts because it's in the line above it. All right, let's see. I do have an eight of spades because it's in the line above this line, I can play it. There's my five, so I can play this five. And now, because that five is in this line, I can play it in this line. Again, see this eight? I can't play the eight on here, on these hearts, because I don't have it in the line above it, even though that eight is right there only play in the line above it. Nope, I don't have the three in the line above it, so I can't play this three. It looks like I lost this game because I've already gone through this discard stack twice and I haven't moved any of these. But I want to show you something about these stacks here. One thing I wanted to show you was, say you've played a stack of cards out here out of these little stacks you have, and you have a king showing on one of them. You can take the king and you can put it here and that'll open you up to having another card face up. And then you can play them out. Two. I can play my two. And now I can play my heart as well. Because they're in all the lights. And now that gives me two more cards to hit face up. If I can pick them up. And there you go. Boom. Five on this line, which means I can play the lower line. And just gives you more options. There's my seven. And now I've gotten rid of another stack. This is what a winning hand would look like. You would have played out all your cards and you would have had a, a suit in each line, a whole suit. They're not in the same order, notice but they're all played out. So if you have all your cards played out and face up, you've won the game. Only a small cell phone camera to show how to play this game and I thought Oh, a regular playing card would be just too small. So then I tried to find something bigger. <laughs> and that was a little too big. So, you know, then I tried to go smaller. It's a little too small. So then I tried to go bigger again. That's still a little too big. 
And I thought, well, the standard playing card's even too big. So I found these little medium-sized cards in my card collection. And uh, that's what I'm playing with. So I don't want you to think I have big, giant hands. I'm just playing with a smaller card. This is your standard playing card here, and this is what I'm using for the video.